happening now. Multiple bodies discovered on Saturday. One in Randolph, another off of Route 20 in Portland. We speak to the man who found one of them coming up. And we're learning more details about a fatal vehicle pedestrian crash in Westfield. And I'm Dakota Hunter in the First Defense Weather Center. The sun is a shining out there today. Boy, and it's going to be warm. But the temperatures will kind of go up and down over the next seven days. And we'll talk about that coming up. And it's Motivational Monday, powered by the Fitness Bunker. Get your week started right here, right now. And let us know what you're thinking in the comments below. That's News Now, Monday, April 23rd. 2018. Live and on demand from the Chautauqua Audio Works Studios in downtown Jamestown. This is your source for breaking news. WNY News Now. Breaking news on WNY News Now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Justin Gould. We start with late breaking news. Jamestown police are asking for the public's help in finding a wanted Randolph man. Daniel K. Fulet is wanted for two counts of aggravated family offense and first degree criminal content along with harassment and stalking charges. JPD ask anyone with information to contact them at 716-483-7537. The number again is 716-483-7537. And now a live look at our 3rd Street camera right so outside of our sunny downtown studios where it's finally feeling like spring, a toasty 59 degrees. Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter joins us now with a first look at our weather. Dakota, have you, uh, you got some hate mail when you had some pretty crazy snow forecasts. You feeling the love today? actually have a folder on my computer called hate mail and uh, you know I take all those little tweets and those Facebook messages and I stick them in there just to remind myself that hey sometimes people don't like the weather people yeah uh, let's take a look at uh, first of all we're going to take a look at the satellite first of all to kind of show you what is going on and yes that actually is running a loop there is no clouds at all going on across the area now this is the visible satellite imagery this is exactly what you and I would see up in the sky and there is just nothing going on I put it on a black a layer so it's a bit easier to see so there is absolutely no clouds across western New York if you're looking for clouds you actually have to go down in Ohio and uh, the southern part of Pennsylvania to find any sort of cloud cover that is in the way so full sunshine today and it is gorgeous so here's the forecast for you bright sunshine throughout the day nice and warm look at the temp range 66 in the valleys to 72 inland and uh, with a south wind of 5 to 15 that southerly wind does help boost our temperature up but the sunshine will remain for today we bring in a few rain showers hours throughout midweek and the temperatures kind of go up and down but we'll talk about it during that full weather segment a little bit later on all right dakota thank you a man who discovered a dead body shortly before 5 30 on saturday evening in the town of randolph tells us he was four-wheeling with his wife when he thought he found a mannequin Don Robbins lives on Swanson Hill Road in the town of Randolph. Robbins discovered the man lying near a log pile at the end of the roadway. Now that's when he called the cops. Up until Saturday, he says he lived on a quiet street. We don't think nothing about it because there is one other home where people used to live, but they have moved to Arizona and there's a house up there for sale. So there's still people going by to go look at the house that's for sale during the daytime. You know, something you see what happened up here yesterday. I wouldn't think somebody do that in the daytime, but there again, you never know. People come up here during the night. They drive by our house at night. We hear a car get up. We don't get up and go follow them. Right. I'll be that guy up there. Now, state police are leading the investigation. Troopers tell us an autopsy to determine the identity of the man found and cause of death is currently pending. And on Saturday, police discovered another body in the town of Portland. New York State Police say a passer buyer made the find off of State Highway 20. The body will undergo an autopsy to determine the identity and cause of death. New York State Police say the investigation is ongoing there and no further information is available at this point. In other news, a 65-year-old Westfield man died Sunday after he was hit by a car on East Main Street in the village of Westfield before 10 p.m. 
Westfield police say Thomas Baldmy was pronounced dead at the scene. The vehicle that police say hit him was headed west on East Main Street after pulling out of the McDonald's parking lot moments before the collision. Baldmy was transported to ECMC for an autopsy. The Chautauqua County Sheriff's Accident Reconstruction Team helped out Westfield Police with the investigation. Cops say no charges have been filed in this incident. And the family of a man who has been missing for a week is asking for the public's help to bring him home. Wilfredo Colon Rodriguez Jr., you see there also goes by Fred, is missing in a post on Facebook dedicated to a raising awareness about his disappearance said on Sunday that several messages to the family came to our page and the page is call is calling for more attention to this matter now the actual post is by Evelyn Cruz it said that anyone with knowledge about his whereabouts should contact the Lakewood bus die police we do want to note that we've reached out to Lakewood Bus Dye Police numerous times and it seems like no one is available to talk to us about the status of this missing case. We'll of course stay on it and let you know when we hear updates at WNYNewsNow.com. And Chautauqua County Executive George Borello will deliver his 2018 State of the County Address this Wednesday night. The address is Borello's first as County Executive at last month's legislative meeting, lawmakers voted to move the event from the legislature chambers to Chautauqua Lake Central School's auditorium in anticipation for a high turnout rate. WNY News Now will bring a live stream of the address starting at 6.30 on both our site and Facebook Live. Complete coverage and expert analysis will follow at WNYNewsNow.com. Coming up, we're hearing from you. Let us know what you think about these stories and more in our new and noteworthy segment right after this. The Fitness Bunker in Lakewood is a locally owned and operated club that cares about your health and wellness. They invest in it. Right now, $16 for 16 days will get you in the door. Lose four pounds, your next month is on them. Try a green zone class and maximize your performance. Hot yoga, 24-7 access. Simply walk into Fitness Bunker in Lakewood right now on Summit Avenue. Make an investment in your health and wellness. Fitness Bunker in Lakewood. Find them on Facebook. It's tax time, so get to Express Bike and Auto in Jamestown for all of your vehicle needs. Service, inspection, vehicle sales, they do it all. For all of your automotive, motorcycle, and ATV service needs, Express Bike and Auto even offers financing. Your true one-stop vehicle shop is Express Bike and Auto in Jamestown. They're located at 1761 Foot Avenue Extension next to Quick Fill. Express Bike and Auto in Jamestown. Stop looking, start saving today. And welcome back to WNY News Now. It's time to hear from you in our new and noteworthy segment. News Director Ryan Hedrick, a busy day for you. Just came flying. Ooh, this man can crazy. sprint, let yeah, me man. tell you. I'm yeah. telling you. It's uh, you know, it's one thing on top of another here. Right. And I think the biggest concern now for people is, you know, these missing people. Now. Right. The first thing I thought of when um, a second body was announced and it became public is what the heck is going right. on? It's hard to quantify what that does to not only, you know, the victims are the, the most underreported, you know, party in this whole thing, but the community at large, I mean, you talk to community residents who have had a long vested interest uh, living and raising their families in Chautauqua County. And when you say missing people or missing persons, it right. immediately elicits horrible memories of cases that are still unsolved. Right. I mean, one of the biggest ones is Corey Anderson. Huh. And Matt Hummel, um, our news editor, did an excellent job uh, in 20, early 2017, yep. so over a year ago, on um, one of his first kind of investigative reports, one of many that he's put together about missing women specifically in Chautauqua County. Mm -hmm. You know, today we have two missing men that we know of right. that are just recently missing. Oh. And, and the problem is 
Um, is talking, let's, we can talk specifically about Randolph because we were able to cover that one and, and talk to the neighbor, um, finding this body. You know, we don't know the context yet of this case. We have to preface that. We, we don't have much information. State mm -hmm. police spokesperson has not gotten back to us at all. Mm -hmm. And it's expected in this, in this specific case because you know they're trying to put things together themselves they're trying right. to learn things and they don't necessarily want everybody to know everything at once it, it jeopardizes it's, their investigation right, right. and we respect that mm -hmm. but at the same time as a news organization we're going to continue to push as hard as we can to get that information sure why not? that's how the game works mm -hmm. right yep. they know that absolutely so with that talking with neighbors learning about this you know police were there for a you know around an overnight period from saturday night into the early morning hours in that wooded area looking at the scene, um, trying to, to put the pieces together, and really, for, for the people who live there on that road, that's scary. That is traumatic. To think, and, and you know, the man we talked to, you know, said the street was quiet. <laughs> you know, there were, there were some cars that would go by, people would dump garbage, you know, thinking they could get away with it in a pretty rural area, mm -hmm. um, but never once did he think that he would find a body and, you know, kind of joking with us a little bit about it to, you know, break up the whole monotony of the, the horror. Yeah. Um, and I mean, he's got kids. And, and very gracious dude, there. very yeah. gracious dude to have us come on his property and we unexpected. Thank him for that. Absolutely, Don Robbins. Um, now, here's the thing we, we can't report a couple of things he told us off camera, but I can say this. I asked him specifically, did, did you get the sense from state police that by, by talking to them and their line of questioning that this was an accident? And he said, absolutely not. You know, so I know the Post Journal this morning reported that the cases aren't connected. Um, okay, that's fine. Great. Um, Good news, I it, suppose. Correct. But, um, you know, it still doesn't remove the fact that, that there are two bodies here. And I think the next thing is the identification process. If, you know, once they make the identification, obviously next of kin has to be notified. Then we're the last right. to know and you're the last to know out right. there. Right, right. Because as be soon as we learn is the media in any right. sort of media release, which is honestly from state police specifically. Other agencies do it differently. But state police has a news website where they release it to and then we oh. get the notification of it. Um, so that the chain of events kind of, you know, go in that way. I wanted to touch on the comments real quick. Um, Jay Waterman is saying this is getting out of hand, and I personally agree with you, Jake. I, I think that the number of missing people in the sample size of 100,000 in Chautauqua County is high, in my opinion. Jay, I want to ask you a question. I want to ask everybody a question out there watching. Is this getting out of hand, or has it been out of hand, and it's only right. becoming apparent to us now? Because I, I was uh, sitting downstairs talking with the uh, uh, w one of our guys that uh, has a, a neighboring part in this building and you know I told them one of the things about a, a lie is that you can cover up a lie with many other lies but at one point everything rises to the top and the lie suddenly becomes exposed you know what's done in the dark becomes light or comes right. to light rather so with that said you know the people around here the politicians and, and some of the um, people in charge have been lying to us for so long about the magnitude of how bad it really is or how things really are that, you know, all this stuff has been happening. Now we're just starting to discover it. Now we're starting to become aware of it because news agencies like ours, you know, we're not are willing to report. Yeah, it we're not in bed with people. We're not right. in bed with people except for the people that that truly want to grow their businesses and are, are good to us. But you know, we're a community news organization. We are founded on a principle of breaking away from a bad situation and going to a better situation to make our situation better. And I think that that really shows when we talk to somebody who found a body right. and he, he has to explain this to his kids and now he has right. to keep an eye on, closer right. eye on his kids than he did yesterday. I mean, right. This stuff is not about us, folks. This is about the future generation protecting the little ones and the ones that you gave birth to and the ones that are in school right now. It's about them. It's about making a better place for them. Uh, Kyle says, my hometown, crazy to think that murderous activities are in such a small township where everyone knows everyone. You're right, Kyle. And, um, <coughs> you know, you think of, you know, when I grew up here, right, like the closest thing I came to to seeing like a police investigation when I was 10 years old 
was probably like at my school when they'd come in and talk to us about don't drink and drive. Right. And a lot of people are untouched by things like this. And you think that, oh, not in my backyard when indeed, you know, it shows up. Now, it's not, you know, Robin's fault that, that this body was dumped up the street from him. Mm. And certainly, yeah, it's startling. Mm. But it's, it's like how... You know, how do we move forward from this? I want to draw awareness to the missing man, though, in Lakewood. We're not talking right. about him enough. That missing man, and, and maybe we could spend the next segment talking about this, but Wilfredo, pardon me if I screw this up, Wilfredo Rodriguez Colon Jr.? Right. Do we, we have his picture. Is right? that, okay, we, right there. He has been missing for more than a week now, eight days. We put a call in to the Lakewood bus die police, Wilfredo Colon Rodriguez Junior, and according to a community reporter, don't take this as law enforcement saying, I'm reporting that a community reporter said he was last seen at the Bosco trailer park in Busti. Um, so this kid has been missing. He, he deserves as much attention right. as Sean Carpenter is right. getting. Nobody is talking about him. Wilfredo Colon Rodriguez Jr.'s family is worried sick about him. We are happy that we could get the word out there. The post was shared a ridiculous amount right. of times. And that's, you know, being in touch with the community is important. I know we've got to go to break. Absolutely. So. so when we return, Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter has some lighter news to share with us about a good week looking ahead, although maybe a little rain is in the forecast. He's timing it out when we return on News Now. With coverage that matters, this is WNY News Now. EagleZip.com is your local one-stop shop for all of your home and business computer needs. Located on Fluvanna Avenue Extension, just outside of Jamestown, EagleZip.com sells and services all brands of desktops and laptops, as well as servers and network equipment for your business. All new computer sales include transferring your data from your old computer plus a two-year warranty. Call EagleZip.com today. Stop by EagleZip.com today and let us make computers easy for you. There's an old saying, there's no news in the newsroom. Well, it's true. The time I spend at the anchor desk is just part of my day. Most of our time is spent gathering stories in the community, stories that matter to you. We can't do it alone, and we need your help. When you see breaking news or have a news tip we should know about, drop us a line on Facebook today, email our news desk, or call our newsroom at 488-7226 so we can bring those stories straight back to you. WNY News Now is sponsored by Chautauqua Audio Works, 3335 South Roberts Road in Fredonia. More than a music store. Call 679-4333. Call now, 679-4333. You're watching WNY News Now, where coverage comes first. Now, your first defense forecast with Dakota Hunter. Yes, it is. I have finally called from my own dose of sunshine. And you can see it here on the Chautauqua Lake Sky Vision camera. Oh, boy, that is looking good uh, out there on the water. The temperature is already in the lower 60s there at Chautauqua Lake with a southeast wind of around 5 or 8 miles per hour. On to the graphics. And I want to mention this again because this comes up tonight. Sky Warn Storm Spotter Training tonight at 730 at WCA Hospital. And again, I've been mentioning this throughout the week last week. It's very important. We need more storm spotters because only spotters see down at the ground. Once again, I'm, uh, um, I'm actually going to throw this graphic up on my Facebook page and on my Twitter uh, as well. So come tonight, 7.30 at WCA Hospital for storm spotter training that is, of course, conducted by the National Weather Service Office in Buffalo. Doppler vision, nothing. I'm not spending time on it because nothing is going on. This is the next batch of rain that's actually going to be coming our way throughout the afternoon hours on tomorrow. It has kind of a slow moving clip to it, so it's not going to get here until the afternoon hours tomorrow. So the morning will probably be mostly cloudy, but then we'll start to get into that rain as we go throughout the afternoon. 67 degrees at one o'clock. Oh boy, it is going to be absolutely gorgeous here today. And as we go to about four o'clock, we're going to be in the lower 70s now. This is computer model output data, and it suggests we're going to be around 71 degrees. But hey, it's going to be gorgeous with lots of sunshine. That's going to feel nice. And as we go to about um, about to nine o'clock tonight, around 56 degrees, and it's not going to be as chilly as it has uh, um, as it has been in past nights. So that's good. So what can you expect for tomorrow? Well, again, the rain will 
come throughout the day tomorrow and the temperatures will come down into the 60s but hey this is still a bit above average by a few degrees so afternoon rain showers with a southeast breeze of around 10 to 20 miles per hour how many uh, so what's the temperatures looking like over the next seven days well today's the warmest out of the next seven you can see the temperatures kind of fall off here but still seasonable that's the good news there is no sign of colder temperatures anywhere minus well that 53 but hey that's going to be a bit nice and that's still right around average take a detailed look at the forecast the next seven days are coming up brought to you by quick solutions and there's that rain chance for tuesday i'm putting the average high at 60 but keep in mind your high temperature will vary a few more rain showers on wednesday and temperatures go back down to the 50s once again but hey the sunshine comes back for friday and it looks like it's probably going to be a wet half of the first part of the weekend but then sun will return for sunday as well how about we take a quick little break and we will be right back First Defense Weather is sponsored by Quick Solutions of Jamestown. Count on Quick Solutions for printing, copying, mass mailings, and so much more. Part of your team. Learn more at QuickSolutionsUSA.com. That's QuickSolutionsUSA.com. Where coverage comes first. You're watching WNY News Now. The Main Landing Restaurant. Excellent service, awesome food, and a beautiful view. Everything's made fresh here. We love to be outside, uh, and it's nice inside if it's raining, so we have a choice. Locals and non-locals agree that the main landing is quickly becoming a destination. It's just so casual, and just the food is amazing. Uh, I love the hamburgers. But I really like the tuna I had. The main landing restaurant, excellent service, awesome food, and a beautiful view. WNY Sports Now is powered by Phone Zone of Jamestown. With the largest inventory around, we buy and sell our own merchandise at a price that can't be beat. Have a broken screen? We'll fix it. Learn more at phonezoneshop.com. You're watching WNY News Now, your source for breaking news. I just love to be with the dogs, and I like to do them one at a time. They don't wait for five hours in my shop. We have full groom, which includes everything from A to Z, nails, of course brushing, tri any trimming that needs to be done. I do offer teeth brushing, which is a little extra. So if he takes me two hours, it's $40. If he takes me three hours, I still keep it down. As long as the dog comes back happy and not at the door, I'm happy. You're watching WNY News Now where coverage comes first. And welcome back to News Now. It is time for a check of the Motivational Monday segment, a new segment that we're starting here on News Now. Over the past couple of weeks, we've been working with the fitness bar. Let me do push-ups again to bring it in. Should I do push-ups again on the desk to bring it in? Or should that be an after-show thing? Um, How did you like that? I don't know. I liked it, but I, I, I got a message and an email the other day from my prop guy who said Ugh. the table's not supposed to He's always busting my butt. I know, I know. So, we're not going to make them wait any longer. Let's do a motivational show on Mondays. Go here in with the fitness bunker on the very first motivational Monday, talking a little self-defense. <laughs> I'm Amber, personal trainer slash boxing instructor at the Fitness Bunker. Um, I run boxing classes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and this is Motivational Monday. My Mondays include a great hit workout as a boxing instructor. I run my clients through a nice dynamic warm-up that gets their cardio in. Then we learn the basic punches, the jab, the cross, the hook, and the uppercut. We get into eight great and enthusiastic rounds. Then we add an ab workout at the end that really lets our muscles cool down and get ready for our week. So in preparation for boxing class, I always tell my clients to make sure their cardio is up to par. You can do that by just you know spending at least three days a week focusing 20 to 30 minutes on maybe going for a walk, a light jog, and then maybe some weight training exercises to follow. Boxing uses a lot of upper body strength, so maybe doing some shoulder workouts, like shoulder presses or push-ups to help get those upper body muscles ready for a great boxing workout. 
So the boxing schedule here at the Fitness Bunker runs as follows. So if you're a morning person and have more time in the mornings, we have morning classes that run at 9.30 Mondays and Thursdays. If you're more of an afternoon or night person, we have evening classes on Tuesday at 5.30 and then Wednesday at 6.30. The classes run for about 60 minutes and you're going to see all levels from beginners, first timers, all the way up to people that are ready to box in the ring. So if you are a beginner, one of the things that I will help you with are your three main stances that will, you will utilize in our class. So we have our dominant stance. For all my right-handed people out there, it's your left foot forward and your right foot back. The reason it's called dominant is because your dominant hand, your right hand, if you're right-handed, is back. Now, if you're left-handed, your dominant hand is your left hand, correct? So, your dominant left hand is back and your right foot is forward. That is your dominant stance. Don't forget to like us on Facebook at The Fitness Bunker for Motivational Monday. I'm Amber Corrigan. See you here. Great job. Way that, that it uh, was going. Yeah, there, there's one, one fact in life. You take care of your body, your body is your temple, it'll take care of you. Absolutely. You know. Let's turn to Chief Forecaster, Dakota Hunter. You've got good news with our seven day. Yes, I do. Let's take a look at Links One and we'll take a look at that quick solution seven day one final time. Uh, if we can, please control room. There we go. And uh, there you see 74 today. That is the high for today. I love it. Yes. I love it. Indeed. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> try. And uh, now some of the computer model output is trying to spike us into probably around 72, but I put 70 as the average high. 60 again, average high if you range in showers for tomorrow. Rain becomes more prevalent on Wednesday with that low pressure system that's going to come through the region. And uh, we bring in a few more rain showers for early in the weekend, but we clear out again for the second half of the weekend at 55. And do not forget, storm spotter training is this is actually tonight at 7.30 at WCA Hospital. And, and you know, we need more storm spotters. It's Are you hosting spots. it? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's actually being hosted and presented by the National Weather Service Office in Buffalo, which, nice. is, of course, the, which is, of course, the office that serves all of Western New York. And we need more storm spotters because it's only these spotters that can see down at the ground. Because, uh, you know, radar, you see, it's a fabulous tool. But the way radar works is, you see, the beam goes in a straight line and the earth curves. So as you get farther away from the radar, the beam goes higher and higher. So it's looking above the ground, not at the ground. So we need more storm spotters. Please, please, please come to that training session tonight at 7.30 at WCCA Hospital. Can I talk about how retarded, can I say retarded? Uh, I guess. I just did. It's, it's not so, good taste, but you can. Rosella, oh, I'm pissed. What? Like, sometimes we get these glitches. You can hear us, but you can. We're not supposed to talk about glitches on the air, but, right. like, Rosella, you're right. We need to fix our audio. I don't know why it doesn't work all the time. Everything oh, sounds like I'm a robot. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the case of the Mondays. It does. And see, the problem is it works. And then, like, it's just because it's new technology with Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, like, when you're sending information from, like, our broadcast center, mm -hmm. like, here in our studio, it's fine. Yeah, of course. But when you send it from our broadcast center to Facebook, some sort of delay and then we have like our producer monitors that live in real time so mm -hmm. he's able to also see the problem mm -hmm. so it's just it's funny yeah it's it's, funny. i thought you were going to say a different f word i'm anyway. not going to say a different i'm not going to do that so again um i do have one question in the serious question i'm going to get this off my chest for five minutes why didn't we know about the missing lakewood man if i could talk to the lakewood bus type police if any of you are watching out there please yeah. why didn't we know Right. About Wilfredo Colon Rodriguez right. Jr. These people messaged us on Facebook asking us, holding us accountable, why we didn't know. And, you know, and, and why we didn't print it. And we're like, because Lakewood Bus Die Police, which do send us information, we get their police reports about all the Walmart thefts. Right. But we didn't hear anything about this. And, and I didn't, you know, as the news director, you know, I'm tasked with making sure news is valid news. I right. mean, we have to make sure that everything is valid, true, and verified. And I had to just go on the strength right. of who was posting it. Right. And why we I knew her, right. and that I knew she was credible. And that's why I sent that, that story out. And I understand why police don't always release things. Yeah, and I understand that sometimes missing people aren't actually missing. If you're, and we talked about this last week, if you're a 20 year old man and you leave your girlfriend, or your mom because you're upset and you're just done with it and you move to Erie, you're not missing. Yeah, but please know the difference between right. somebody that wants 
to be messing with somebody that's missing. That's missing. Yeah. Right. They can tell by the family, by the different demeanors. And it's, you know, Lakewood Bus Dive Police, they're a small department. I understand that. And I respect that. But, you know, we, we're trying to help. We truly are. It's a beautiful <laughs> shot right there. Yeah. Yeah. If anything you take away from this show, enjoy the sunshine. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.